The Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Matia Kasaija, appeared before the Parliamentary Committee on Trade, Tourism and Industry to give information in regard to the compensation claims by business owners who incurred losses when South Sudan plunged into armed conflict in 2013. Those seeking compensation were grouped into several categories. Of these, 10 entities in Group 1 received compensation to a tune of 155 billion shillings. These were largely established entities. However, a second group of 160 claimants emerged and they were verified following a court order. Unfortunately, almost all were found ineligible. From the verification process, only three claims amounting to US dollars 6947183. Equivalent to Uganda shillings 25 billion seven hundred and eighty three million four hundred and seventy eight thousand four hundred twenty three twenty seven were found valid while the others were questionable. Many MPs were concerned that many ordinary traders who also lost money in South Sudan were left out. The names of those that were verified the second time. You will hear the rockers. You will hear names that are very familiar dot services. How about these traders who were having one truckload of tomatoes? How come only three could qualify? That really is defeating. And all the three we, are not traders. And all the three are not traders. I don't classify these people. Me, I classify somebody by his claim being genuine and, and, and agreed with, with, with Southern Sudan that we pay. <laughs> I don't know the, the super, I don't know the same super ordinary regular. The Ugandan government signed a bilateral agreement with its South Sudanese counterpart for Uganda to compensate the verified claimants in what would be treated as a loan payable by Juba. Meanwhile, the finance ministry has ruled out the levying of import tax on animal feed concentrates, which has been subject of contention between traders, farmers and the Uganda Revenue Authority. After those consultations by URA, they have now come to terms to the, with the fact that they will not enforce the assessment. They have even written to all the, the, the entities uh, on whom they had imposed assessments. They have written to them to state that those assessments won't be enforced. The feud had caused the clogging of trucks at the border points as URA declined to clear the trucks. However, the standoff was later resolved. Ugandans, we can be happy now at the moment. Concentrates, they are not no, no longer going to put any tax. It is free and the people are free to import concentrates and we continue with our agriculture sector. Okay. We are going to ask Revenue Authority to tell us where this money they have been collecting is because they had collected some money already. So we want to know where exactly this money is. The Trade Committee had completed writing its report on the matter but the latest crucial feedback in stopping the imposition of the tax shall be included in a rejoinder. Jackson Onyango, NTV.